I uh, started painting and drawing and doing my artwork in the 1980s when my kids were old enough to take care of themselves. When you look around in Wyoming and the area that we live in, you, you see the land, you see the mountains and the foothills. So I thought maybe landscape would be the way to go. And it turned out to be my major um, concentration for, for my artwork. And um, I also experimented with a lot of media uh, and settled on pastel and really connected with the way that you don't have anything between just have a pastel stick and between you and the canvas. Pastel dust is a problem for most pastel painters. I use a dust mask because I've developed an allergy to the pastel dust. I also have an air purifier. This is a device that catches the, most of the dust as it comes down off the painting and goes into the filter there. So I found a few helps for that allergy. So many stories to tell about painting outdoors. We see this truck go down the driveway from its house and come up the hill to where we are painting and the window rolls down and the people in the truck say, oh, they're artists. We thought they were skinny dipping in the stock tanks. <laughs> Things like that that stick in your mind. We've seen bears, we've seen, um, mountain lions, but we weren't close enough to be in danger. Sometimes you are. We always paint with um, uh, bear spray when we're in Yellowstone because you're very quiet when you're painting. Um, I've had rattlesnakes crawl up to see what I was doing and I've had, um, I saw a mink cavorting in the stream one time. Uh, this is a this is an early piece. Um, it's called Gillette Cole. It is a depiction of an open coal mine close to Gillette, Wyoming. Different look to it, a different technique. Um, more wanting to uh, be true to the photograph, uh, as I am not so much anymore. These are a couple of the pieces that I've been working on with the black and white um, print of a photograph. So um, this is all my own color. I just decide what color I want to use. And, but, uh, but the main thing is the value, whether it's dark or light. So uh, this one's not finished. It's about halfway. And this one's more about 90% done, so. My painting buddy and I have a friend who moved to town probably in the 80s, uh, and she was an abstract artist. This would be an example of um, the show that's coming up. All of us will have abstract pieces that we've done together for this show. It, abstract art is enjoyable in the fact that you don't have to make it look like anything. It's all the elements of art without the um, necessity to portray a subject. The subject is the elements of the art, the values, the shapes, the colors, the textures, um, all that is your subject when you have abstract art. This painting is uh, a later painting, and it's a depiction of a hillside east of town, east of Sheridan, in the fall. This one seemed to paint itself. It, it was a fun one to do. 
not all of them are like that. Most paintings uh, are a struggle, which hopefully you will not be able to detect when you look at the painting.